features of agent workspace so as you can see the features are multi-tab real-time handling of calls and chats agent assist better search capability and if i if i add i think integrated environment where you can access different applications in just one place so these are the basic features or important features of agent workspace let's start uh, the talking about the features we have the first feature we have is lists so as you can see in the left hand side if you click on list it will show you the list where you can see the different records then we have tabs now as of now if i talk about your native ui if you want to open multiple incidents or multiple records in ServiceNow, then you have to open it in the browser. That means you have to open the new tab in the browser and then open the incident. But in this case, in Agent Workspace, you don't need to work on multiple tabs. You can just open different tabs and access the different incidents. So that is the important feature, I would say, which will save a lot of time and also it will also uh, i think uh, make this complete process effective for agents to handle the incidents multiple incidents then we have forms so as you have list so if you if you will understand the ui is quite similar what we have in native ui but it has some advanced features because if i and the reason i'm saying it's quite similar because you will definitely have list because you are an agent you will be working on the queues you will have to access all the list of the uh, queues so at the same time if you will click on that list and then open any record so definitely it would be a, like a form so that's the reason they have a like a form feature as well where you can see every information you need so you can also access the related list you can also access all the fields you have on that particular form that's what you can access on the same view contextual bar now this bar is a really important feature and i would say i think this is kind of a major add-on feature where you have different accessibilities around that you can attach the article you can access the knowledge articles and the one of the important feature which service now came up with that is agent assist that means as per the incident raised as per the description mentioned in the incident if service now can read the data and just show you and give you some help that if you can resolve that incident by looking some kind of maybe a catalog item if it if he wants to uh, like request for a catalog item that's what it does so these are some features will which will we will we will talk about it later like with in details for each and every uh, feature we have uh, for agent workspace and then we have this feature called global search so as a as a as an agent if i want to search for anything if it's an incident any record or any text which i'm looking for it's it's a global search which we have in our native ui as well so i will just put the keyword here press enter and then i will be able to get the results now these features are not just limited whatever i said these are the basic features i would say but there are other features where you can uh, get the calls where you can get the chats as well in the same ui you don't have to go in a different workspace you don't have to open a new tab you can get those things as well those features in the same integrated environment you have from agent workspace applications with workspace so as of now customer service management that's a different application of ServiceNow. And IT service management application works with Workspace as of now. Maybe in the future, they will come up with new applications. But as of now, it works with customer service management application and IT service management application like incident change problem and configuration management. Who can configure agent workspace? Now, 
users with workspace underscore admin role can configure agent workspace. So it's just like if you will assign this role to the users, then they will become agent workspace administrators. User-friendly setup process. Now, as you know, ServiceNow has introduced their guided setup for most of the applications in ServiceNow. So if you want to implement different modules in ServiceNow, they have given you the kind of a guided setup where you can follow the steps and you can implement that application or module. Similarly, ServiceNow has also enabled this guided setup feature for agent workspace. So if uh, agent workspace you are enabling first time and you want to uh, see that how that process works, how those steps you have to follow, then you can go with this guided setup and that will be really easy for you to implement agent workspace for your organization. Possible configurations. Now, as you know, the agent workspace that you can still perform a lot of configurations in agent workspace application as per your requirement, as per the need uh, from your customers or clients. And the configuration which you can change in agent workspace are like tab settings, lists, forms, search, chat and phone setup. So these are the possible configurations which you can do and change as per your need and, and customer requirement. We will talk about these configurations in details that how exactly you can perform these configurations in ServiceNow instance.